Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Lord of Dwarves episode 17 with the series here. We'll go ahead and pause actually up the speed a little bit here. Get things moving along. So we're working on building out the room here for our smelters workshop, which is one of our story objectives. We've got a couple of other things we got to work on too, but those are all happening uh, here over time without me really intervening. I will say that we got to build two more doors. That's a pretty good idea. In fact, we're going to want to put the doors here in front of our wall. So we probably should do this. And then we can have uh, two doors here, I guess. I don't think I can cover that area. So let me do this. Then set up a new area like that. Guard post two, okay. And let's try that again. Oh. There we go. Well. That would have been easier, I guess. All right, and then we're going to want to put some work stone on top, and then we're going to want the doors there, which we've already got two of. Let's put them like this. Perfect. So that gets the doors completed. Everybody's still putting work stone down. We need to put at least a 1,000 down. That's getting done, and the smelter is now the big thing, right? So this is the room I want to put the smelter in. We can actually go to the smelter workshop where is it where is the smelter there it is and we can get that down here so let's uh put it like this and let's make some stockpiles here the first stockpile will go right here dwarf is joined this is going to be um neither of these I want it to be none of this let's see or that's what I want so that's gonna be or and then I want the other stockpile to be bars okay and what do we need for this? A hearth, a cauldron, a hammer, and a bin. Two bins, actually. So, stone hammer. And then we need some bins. Two bins. And then we got to find the other stuff. I don't even know where you make the other stuff. I literally have no idea. Here? No. A cauldron or hearth. Okay, perfect. I'll just get rid of that work stone. And then we can add it back on. So the hearth and the cauldron. Okay, those are the last two things we need. Perfect. So somebody will go and make that. That new dwarf we got, I'm going to make him a craftsman because we need more craftsmen. We're definitely hurting for him. The rancher, no. I'm going to take another craftsman there. Perfect. Uh, construct work stone we're working on. Craft, 0 out of 100 work stones crafted. Okay. We should have plenty to do that with. Plenty of granite, that is. I see that there's not a whole lot here, but there should definitely be enough. Labor, okay. Okay. 
I'm going to keep trying to get rid of some, some of that cobblestone we have. Because there's a lot of it in my pile here. It's messing stuff up. Presence of rotten meat. Where? Here? Here? I have a refuse pile. I don't get that stuff hauled. There's actually not that much hauling to be done. These guys have managed to haul just about everything, so they shouldn't be too upset. Did I make all those bows I wanted to make? So I think I was trying to make a marksman squad. Um... Oh yeah, we are dangerously low on drink. I mean, this guy's down here making water, but it, it's not going to do. Didn't I make another hand pump? Oh my gosh, right here. What's that there? There's another one over there? I don't remember making that one. All right. 300 max and repeat twice. Somebody get down there and make me a bunch of water. I don't care who. Looks like this guy's going to go do it. All right, cool. We got the smelter workshop built. Use the smel smelter workshop to make 40 tin bars. Also, in the profession of one or two dwarves to smith, they will work this smelter uh, smithing workshop. So let's go ahead. We got a hunter here. We don't need him. Let's make him a smith and one of these laborers a smith. There we go. Anvils. You need to forge metal arms and armor. Use the smelter workshop to craft three anvils out of the tin bars. All right. And then I guess we already have three anvils. I don't. Bar, any ore, does it matter? There, that should do all the ore we've got. All right, so I got to build a blacksmith workshop built, keen hammers crafted, armor smith workshop built, weapon smith, smith workshop built. I might build these other workshops down here, actually. Four dwarves have joined. Oh, my Lord. All right, we'll just leave them as is. Yeah, I'm thinking about building down here more. Let's uh, do some different rooms. However, let's do this and this. And we'll do a room right here. Five by five. Five by five. There we go. Meanwhile, water's going back up, so that's good. Why don't we set some harvesting up? We can harvest this stuff. That'll get us some water for sure. Some additional water anyways. Plus some other stuff I think we needed. Hay. Oh, not really. We're going to go ahead, though, and actually make some more straw hats, straw vests, gloves, and shoes. Because we haven't done that in a while. We can burn up some of that agriculture. Speak of the devil. Ooh, that's a large party of orcs. Okay. How's the wall look? Let me guess scaffolding all over. Nice. Okay. God damn. All right. You guys need to take this scaffolding down. I'm not going to sit here and keep... This is just insane. What's it going to take? So I can't. Please just take it down. The scaffolding is going to be the death of me. These guys are not getting the wall done in a way that even makes sense. They're just kind of doing whatever they want. 
Um, I know I've given them a lot of orders, but I mean, look at all these like really just random, instead of working down the wall, um, in a way that makes sense, they're acting like they're overwhelmed and they're just picking at the wall in areas that just, I just wish that they would work. Cause like I'm leaving the scaffolding up in certain areas because I want them to get up there and finish it. But it's frustrating. It's probably because I haven't built enough scaffolding, honestly. I, I might have to construct more. So we'll probably just go ahead and queue up more to be constructed. Or, you know, taking all this down will hopefully get them to use it in places that make sense. Um, either way, it's a little too late. They're not going to get the scaffolding down in time. I'm going to need to do this, I guess. And uh, hopefully this works. I'm assuming the orcs are going to come straight for here someplace. See, these guys look like they're going for the entrance. This one orc here is going to climb the scaffolding. Okay, these orcs are going to climb. These orcs are going to go for the entrance. Okay, we might be okay. No, we're not going to be okay. Okay, this is a problem that needs to be dealt with quicker than this, essentially. Okay, hurry up and get down here. We can still save these guys. Um, we're going to lose a couple dwarves for sure. Oh, we're going to lose a lot of dwarves. We're probably going to lose a stupid amount of them. Yep, yeah, okay. So we did. We lost a stupid amount of dwarves. All right, I'm going to go ahead and address that. I've... Oh, boy. I've gotten all of the stuff to be built, so we'll just let that be a thing. All of the uh, scaffolding will be torn down and redone. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to make a bunch of grave crosses, and then we're going to make a bunch of more scaffolding. And then these guys should haul the bodies out of here, and then we'll hopefully get the rest of these graves put together or something. Well, we got three dwarves back at least. Military-wise, can we make more soldiers? I think we lost some. Maybe not. Um, let's take this laborer here. And let's take a hauler with better melee. If we can. Okay, or not. Whatever, it's fine. Grow that squad a bit. I still want to make a barracks area. That's why I was actually trying to haul this wood out of here. It was for a barracks area. Okay, so hopefully we'll see the scaffolding get torn down. But it's not looking promising right now. I guess everybody's just too busy hauling. Alright, meanwhile... They are hauling the last stone out of here. We got to get some torches down here. Let's do that. There we go. And we need some more workshops. We need a blacksmith workshop. Uh, keen hammers, armor smith, and a weapon smith. Okay, so that's a lot. Where is the blacksmith? Okay, so all three of these here. So I got to build another room. Um, this is different, but it'll work. Let me do it like this, though. So there's that blacksmith. And then we'll put the weaponsmith here. Ooh, this, see, these are all different sizes. So we'll put the weaponsmith here. And I think we'll put the armor smith across. Can we do that? Or is it going to run into this? Uh, it might. No, this would be the floor. No, we should be good. So if we do that. It should work. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Hearth, bucket, anvil, hammer, bin, tool rack. Okay, so hearth, bucket. We need. Okay, let's do this. Hammer for sure. Oh, 
a hearth, a bucket, anvil, hammer, which we got two bins, two tool racks. And then just the anvil, which I'm guessing we get here, yeah. All right, perfect. We better go find some more tin ore. I'm going to say that we're going to probably need it. Where did I find this tin ore? Right here. I still haven't hauled all of this out of here. Let's go ahead. And mine that out. And then we might as well look for more tin. Because we got to find it. I'm sure we're going to need it. So we're waiting for the hearth in the bucket. And we need um, an anvil here. Which I think I queued two of them up to be built. Oh, two weapon rack. I don't even know what a keen hammer is. And I don't even know where I make it. Pedestal. Stone club, tombstone, well basin, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, you're done with that work stone. Do I have my grave crosses or not? We got a lot of the dwarves. <laughs> this is like going to be a whole graveyard over here at this point. What is this? The wood armory? Oh, we got a bunch of scaffolding made. I got to expand this stockpile a little bit and this stockpile a little bit. Oh, just to keep things hauled. The wood's being used up, though, so that's good. Really wish these guys would pick up all this raw meat and stuff. Cupboards are not filled. Okay, so that one's ready to be built. This one needs a keen hammer. Where do you make a keen hammer? Zero out of two keen hammers crafted. I don't even know where you make those. Let me go ahead and get the other shop up. Um, this is a weaponsmith, so this will be a... Oh, crap. That's a weaponsmith, yes. Yeah, so the next one's going to be an armorsmith. All right. Need three armor racks for that. All right, where do you get a keen hammer? It's obviously not a regular hammer. A blacksmith workshop, uh, blacksmith weapon shop, workshop is required to craft the keen hammer. Okay, so that's why I haven't seen it yet because it's here. Yep, and you can make other keen tools. Cool. So make two keen hammers. Okay. Ah, nice. They're getting my torches installed. Finally. Felt like that took a little bit. How 
How's downstairs looking? Did we get more tin? Ah, oh, we found more actually. Good. Any luck here? Yep. Found some more tin over there too. Let's go ahead and make sure we put our torches down. And it also wouldn't be a bad idea to probably make more torches or at least get them queued up to be made. How many? One dwarf. Torch, just go ahead and make 20 more. I don't even know if we have the coal to do it. We can queue up more coal to be dug out. Oh, there's no, there's enough down here. It's not a huge deal. And if we wanted to, we could even go one row down and do this, maybe. That'll get us even more coal. Take these emeralds while we're at it. Oh, there's even coal on the ceiling, which I guess I can mine out too. Perfect. There, so that, that'll get us all the coal we need for whatever. Okay, so now we're just building the armor and the weapons workshop. We need hearth bucket anvil. Okay, so we need two more anvils. One for each of these. We need two more hearths and two more buckets. So let's get those up. There we go. And then we need four bins. Okay, how's the wall? Are we finally dealing with all this? It looks like this is finally done over here. So actually getting the scaffolding taken down has caused these guys to kick it a little bit into high gear with getting the wall completed. I do see there's still a few areas that aren't done, but. Low on drink again, holy crap, that's really low. What's going on? Why is this not being done? Do I not have enough cooks? What is happening? I've got one cook. It's clearly not enough. I need two. That's definitely not enough. I need three. I need three cooks at all time. And somebody needs to be making water at all times. I want one dwarf to glue himself to water and that's all he does. Stop sleeping and make water. All right. We're out of water. Everybody's going to start dying. I'm going to go ahead and start queuing up some of this. Because that'll help. With the water situation. Everybody's going to go thirsty if this doesn't get done. Um, so that's going to keep everybody probably pretty busy. In fact, I know it's going to keep everybody busy. It's going to be a lot of hauling. But this will handle our water situation. Everybody get to work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here, though. Let the doors work for a bit. With that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time.